Yo dudes, the Empire's pretty chill. Maybe you could like join it or something. One, Luke and Most Prime here, so it is time for another figure unboxing and review today. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be unboxing another figure from the DC Extended Universe franchise from the DC Multiverse toy line by McFarlane Toys, one of the action co companies of all time. And this is for a character who made his debut in a movie from 2022, and definitely a character who I thought was very entertaining and one of the best parts of the movie he was in. And this, of course, is a figure of none other than Hawkman. As he, of course, is portrayed by Audis Hodge in Black Adam, the movie from 2022. So, this is a figure, guys. Looks pretty awesome, that. So, so, he, so there's a figure. And uh, down there, appears, looks like Hawkman's uh, mace there. And um, on the, I think that will be a card and, and a stand, I think. It's hard to tell because of Hawkman's wings blocking the view, so I can't really see. But, yeah. On the top here, there's McFarlane Toys. There's 22 million parts as well, which is pretty cool. And, uh... On the spine here, it says Hawkman Black Adam. Of course, the saucer, there's a movie's logo. On the other side, it just says Hawkman, DC Multiverse, of course. And yeah, on the back here, here's a pretty nice artwork of Hawkman, which I think will be on the card, of course. So yeah, uh, that, that'll be great to open, won't it? Yeah. Hm. Now, when it comes to Hawkman in the film, guys, so I definitely really loved Aldis Hodge as Hawkman in the movie. I think he was one of the best parts of the movie. He was very entertaining as his character. Played him really well. And I might regard him as my favourite live-action or trailer of Hawkman as well. Definitely, in my opinion, better than, than the version from The Legend of Tomorrow's Show because I felt he was wasted in that show. But, yeah. In this movie, though, I thought he was much better. Now, unfortunately, though, I'm not sure about the future of Hawkman well, due to, of course, the DC Universe being rebooted. So, yeah, that really sucked, doesn't it? But I really would love, love to see, you know, the whole Justice Society of America, Hawkman included, come back. Especially Hawkman because Otis Hodge was as ent as him. So, yeah. It's a really big shame, but... Nonetheless, I'll still keep re-watching Black Adam because I love the movie and I, of course, as well have it on, on hand, my steelbook of it, so which I got as well. So, yeah, it's a shame, really, that um, it's not going to get continuation, sadly, now, which really sucks. But, nonetheless, well, let's get everything open, shall we? So, there is three pieces of sellotape holding the lid on, so, on the box, so I'm going to cut it with, with some scissors. So, so yeah, uh, let's get it open. That's one done. Now let's do the other. There we go. There we are. Opened up. Up now. So, so when you open up the box. So first things first, of course. Wait, are the wings removable? Huh. How interesting. That's really cool, how you can take the wings off if, if you want to. Huh. Let me take them out as well. Oh, wow. Okay, so um, here is a figure of Hartman with his mace. Looks really cool, that. Yeah. And the wings appear to be attached to a cardboard or background for, for it, so let me just uh, cut the ropes off holding it in place. Wings in place. One. So, take him out. Here is Hartman's wings. Look pretty cool. I'll put over these on when I get the figure out, of course. And behind, of course, this plastic area is, of course, um, as I suspected, a card and the background. So, I'm going to get these out first. And unfortunately, the decent mother's background is, is just the same, really. Nothing, nothing really new at all. I was hoping you'd have like a background from a movie for, for Hawkman, really, to stand in front of, but sadly not. So here is the generic DC stand. Nothing really new at all with it, which is a bit of a shame. Disappointing. And here is... Let me just uh, take the star tape off. Here is the card. So yeah, as I suspected, the same artwork as on the back of the box. So yeah, which is pretty cool. But it tends to do the same artwork for the back of the box and on the card, yeah. But it's a very nice artwork of Hawkman, yeah. And here is the back of it, so... Real name, of course, is Carter Hall, and I'll read the description of him for you. With a suit of armour constructed by gravity-defying Mth Metal, Hawkman combines his physical prowess with a strong sense of morality. 
instilling years of knowledge and experience into the younger members of the burgeoning justice society, the man known as Carter Hall has fought the millennia to protect global stability, and he won't let anything or anyone, including Black Adam, stand in his way. Nice. <laughs> now let's get the figure out now, guys, out of the plastic container, so... So first things first, um, here is Hartman's mace. Looks really nice, but very well designed, <laughs> like it appears in the movie. The figure is secured by some tape, some ropes holding it in place. I think it's just one, and also some sad tape with, with a hand as well on the, on the left for some reason, not, not on both of them. Hmm. I suppose it makes it easier for me to take it out. Hmm. So, I'm just going to cut this rope now. And... Finally, of course, guys, here is the figure. And while this figure looks really awesome, they did a great job designing Hawkman. Really did do a great job at it. So, yeah, in terms of portability, the head can move pretty well. It's not too loose. Unfortunately, the helmet isn't removable, so you can't, you know, see, you know, all this hodge, sadly, which is a bit of a shame, really. It'd be cool if you could take it off. I mean, if you can take off the wings, you can take off the helmet, right, but sadly not. The arms can also move, but they, they, they can't go 360 degrees due to Hawkman's armour, of course, blocking the arm from going fully around, really. So that's a bit complicated. You can do it, but it's a bit complicated due to the armour blocking it. The left one, I don't think you can, but due to the armour, though. So, yeah. And they can also move to a side like this, too, which is pretty good. Good, good portability. We're not too loose or too, or way too secured. Hand, uh, elbows can also fold really well, too, which is good. And... Legs also move forward too, which is good. And also to the back as well for both of them. And knees can also bend too as well, which is great. Now, let me also get the mace into into his, uh, up on his right hand, of course, like he does in a movie. The hand appears to have a very good grip, so that means that the, that the mace can fit in really well, I think, which is handy. When, when I got the maze for it, it was a bit bent, though, not too straight. So, yeah, there, there was that as well, which was a bit of a problem. But not too much of a big deal, though, because, yeah. Oh. So, yeah, um, got the maze in his hand now. Looks really cool, that. Nice. And now, now let's put the wings on as well, shall we? So, for this is his right wing. And his left one. Going like this. And here he is with his wings. Nice. This looks really cool, this. <laughs> really cool. <laughs> It'd be great if he came with wings with like open nuts so he's flying with them, but yeah. But nonetheless, though, um, it look, when you get the wings on, the result is definitely really amazing. Looks really cool, this. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> but yeah, I wasn't expecting them to be, you know, removable wings, though. But yeah, I, I guess it adds a bit more detail to, to if you want to recreate scenes from a movie where he's not got his wings on. Yeah, because there is that, yeah. Hmm. So, but yeah, it's, it's a really cool figure nonetheless, and I'm happy to have it. And so now I officially have a figure from the Black Adam toy line so far. So, so let me also get the others out as well. Oh, you know, as well. On this, oh, whoops, just fell. <laughs> let me stand him up straight. Let me just uh, put him to, to one side. So, for example, here's my figure from... From Iron Box already of Doctor Fate, which is a pretty cool figure. Oh, and also as well here is my figure with a of Cyclone. Oh, Fate just fell. <laughs> this might be a bit of a crowd. <laughs> I'll put Fate here. Then also here, as, as of course, is the comic relief for movie Atom Smasher. <laughs> oh. Oh, the figures don't want to stand either for some reason, which is very annoying. And of course, now, of course, to, to, to the man in black himself, of course. Hmm. Black Adam. <laughs> Here he is in front of them. Yeah, really cool. And uh, yeah, so that is uh, the figures, guys. And all together, like that, with just a sight of America with Black Adam behind them, yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'm very happy to have these figures, and yeah, really cool figures in the toy line. So yeah, um, but we, yeah, 
but all in all obviously definitely a really cool figure of Hawkman and, and I'm very glad to have it so yeah um so guys this is me doing my unboxing of the DC Multiverse toy line by McFarlane toys figure of Hawkman as it depicted of course in my Black Adam movie um so you know drill guys be sure to give this video a like also be sure to let me know in the comments what you guys think of this figure of Hawkman if you have it let me know in the comments what you think of it if you think like I guess I'd, I'd recommend it if you like of course, um, you know, the Black Adam movie or Hawkman as a character or the Fallen Toys figures in general or DC in general is the most common, in my opinion. Also, be sure to join the team by pressing subscribe for this coming future. If you would like to be a member, you can go on using PSLADS or in the description and I'll see you all later.